In the past 50 years, the way we produce, distribute, and consume electricity has changed dramatically. Cities are denser, and consumption per subscriber has risen as technology has advanced. Coal and nuclear power stations have been shut down, and more and more renewable, distributed energy sources, that is, small production units virtually on the user's doorstep, have been developed to supply power to Swedish consumers. But the power grid has barely changed at all and is not so compatible with modern needs in power production. How can we meet these limitations? How can we continue to develop towards renewable energy without massive investments in the power grid? This is essentially the aim of the development project Smart Grid Gotland. We want to find ways to upgrade the existing grid. Smart, cost-effective solutions for connecting larger amounts of renewable energy such as wind and solar power we're also looking at how to improve the quality of the electricity, how to avoid power cuts and disruptions in the power grid. We want electricity consumers to play an active part in the power market and make smart choices, both for the economy and the environment. We're therefore conducting a test where households have a smart energy box, which can be used to regulate power consumption based on price and availability. Gotland is not just a lovely island, it's also ideal for this project, as it reflects Sweden as a whole as regards the challenges with the power grid. There is a lot of installed wind power here, we have a large enough geographical area with clear boundaries, and also a single power distributor. This enables us to analyse all events and their consequences. Gotland has almost reached the limit for the amount of power that can be connected to wind generators. The grid cannot receive more or transport more power to the mainland. Many players are interested in developing more wind power, and many consumers want power from renewable sources. So what happens if we can't meet these challenges, which also exist in the rest of Sweden? When wind generators deliver electricity to the grid, there are often fluctuations in the production, which is natural. The grids involved are not dimensioned to handle this, which can cause power cuts, voltage dips, and flickering. With a modern remote control system that monitors the low voltage grid, along with strategically located sensors and switches, the operator has a clear picture of what happens in the grid, and problems can be located before they become a disruption. If a problem does occur, the system guides the fault, tracing or automatically reconnects the faulty sections, so that as few as possible are affected. We call this the self-healing grid. Customers in the upgraded grid have a new type of smart electricity meter installed. Signals are sent from and to the meter so that the grid company has information about consumption and power quality for each customer. But how do we make sure power is used when it's most available? Well, the consumer's home has our smart energy box installed. The idea is that when a lot of cheap, renewable power is being produced, the customer can use the box to run costly processes like heating water, heating the house, or charging their electric car. It's equally important to reduce consumption when production is low. If our production peaks can be consumed by customers immediately, we can raise the limit for wind power production without major investments in the grid. This will also increase customers' awareness of how they use energy and how they can do so smarter and at a lower cost. A win-win situation. So to sum up, Smart Grid Gotland is a visionary project that will use modern technology to integrate many renewable energy sources in the power grid. We will also be looking at how we can upgrade the grid to meet society's needs today and in the future, focusing on cost efficiency and the long term, while also maintaining delivery quality naturally. Find out more at www.smartgridgotland.se